Well, hello, boys and girls. Look at us. We're out riding again. How about that? In this beautiful, beautiful December Sunday where the temperatures are unbelievably warm. So I said to myself, I said, self, we're going for a ride today. Not only are we going for a ride, but we're going to go look at stuff. Why not? So upon completion of decorating the house for Christmas, outside that is, not inside, I decided, yep, going out for a ride and got to test out some of my new gear. That's right, boys and girls. I got me a GoPro. See that? Look at that. I got me a good brand new GoPro Hero 8 Black. And, well, we're checking it out. Like I said, I put it here only because I wanted to see uh, how it is. I know right now you guys are looking through the windshield. Probably like right around here. Yeah, you're looking through the windshield. But you know what? That's okay. And you'll notice there's another camera view back here. Yeah. And I got the old GoPro right there. So we're gonna do a three camera view thing today, but we're testing out the new gear just to see how it's gonna work. I have never used the new Hero 8. I tested it out a few times uh, and it's all about mic placement. Make sure the mic is in the right spot. I. You know how to mess around with that a little bit in fact right now this video is probably a huge test because i really don't know if it's going to sound good or not i may have to make an adjustment to the microphone because right now i have it just below my right temple and i may have to move it more in front of my mouth but yeah so no this was a christmas present to myself because mostly i got tired of the uh the, the lousy audio quality and yeah, the video quality wasn't that great either so I figured what the hell let's let's just ramp it up a little bit and I got out my plastic money and uh, bought it from my favorite retailer which by the way is not a big box store it's actually Sweetwater online so it's actually a really good stuff now I'm gonna move the microphone from here, more to there. So we're gonna find out if that's even better, if that's worse, I don't know. So I moved it. And one of the other cool things that I did also is that I installed the pin lock shield on my visor. And, oddly enough, it freaking works, and my, my, my visor's not fogging up anymore. I am so freaking happy about that. You have no idea. Oh my god. Nothing could like be more possibly more annoying than your visor fogging up on you when you're trying to ride. Oh my god. It's so much better now. <laughs> you have no idea. Well, maybe you do. Anyway. So today we're going to go, uh, this is going to be sort of a Roadside America ride, kind of, sort of, but at the same time, I'm doing another thing where I'm going to, I'm a fan of Dunkin' Donuts. I know maybe a lot of you guys are more uh, Starbucks people or, you, you know, you, or maybe you just don't care and you just want to go get coffee or whatever, but I'm a Dunkin', Dunkin' Donuts guy. Did I just say Dunkin'? Okay, Dunkin', I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy. Actually, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy, and I like to get their coffee, so uh, there are about 60 billion Dunkin' Donuts locations in New Jersey, and uh, I am going to make it a point to possibly visit as many of them as I can, uh, just, uh, just for, as a goof, uh, you know, uh, for, for the ride. And it's, it's all about the ride. That's what it is. So, 
Today's Dunkin' Donuts will be in, if I can find it, I don't know. <laughs> My coffee destination today is in Colts Neck. We'll see. Solar panels. She is running so good today. Oh, she's running wonderful. Ooh. She is really running good today. Well, ever since the new injectors, boy, she's just, oh, wow. She's just fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed my last video where I talked about creating the Christmas list so that your friends and family know what to get you for Christmas. Funny thing is, is as I, I email it to, to everybody in my family. I always do that. So I emailed it to my wife. <laughs> and then yesterday, casually, while we're, you know, getting stuff for the house, you know, decorations and stuff, I said, oh, by the way, in case you didn't notice, I emailed my Christmas list to you. She goes, you emailed to me now, two weeks before Christmas, right? I said, well, hey, you know, just for those last minute gift ideas, <laughs> you know, not that, a, not that a sportster is a last minute gift idea, unless if you hit the lottery, <laughs> but I think it's just kind of funny, so. And usually uh, what I said to my brothers, they just really basically just like, well, they think I'm an idiot, as I said in my last video, but they look at it. Nice Jeep. I like that color. I'm not as bundled up today as I was last time I rode. Hmm. Today it's just the tobacco jeans, my chaps. Uh, got a sweatshirt on underneath the, the leather jacket and that's it. Uh, I've got my uh, autumn gloves on today. My friend from the V-Twin blog Larry Marshall had uh, heard that on the podcast that uh, all my electric gloves died, my heated gloves died, and that these other pair that I bought from First Gear I didn't like, and they didn't fit well, and I sent them back. So he heard that I didn't have any, so what a nice guy he is, man. He just, uh, he saw that, he heard that, and then he said, well, look, I've got this extra pair of gloves laying around that I'm not using, so he sent me. A, a, a pair of heated gloves that he he doesn't use and I have them with me they're in my saddlebag right now and in the event that my hands get cold I will use them but I have my my heated grips are on I don't know that I need them on might not be necessary it's unusual that we get this kind of weather in New Jersey it's just very unusual. Oh, I shouldn't say that. This is New Jersey. You don't like the weather? Wait 10 minutes. Uh, of course, that's probably the same thing same everywhere. This is Alaire State Park, by the way. On both sides of the road, this is Alaire State Park. One of my favorite places to mountain bike. Which I really need to do. I haven't done any mountain biking in quite a while. It's been mostly road biking and on the trainer. Anyway, so so we'll see how this goes. I don't know how long my old GoPro is going to last. It usually doesn't last that long. So we'll see. And I have no idea what this view looks like. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not. For all I know, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be bad. <laughs> I won't know. All right. And there you go, of course. Right up there is the Allenwood Market. No, I'm sorry, the Allenwood General Store. Great place to go for a uh, really, really nice breakfast. The place is like built in the 1800s. And it's... Uh, Ah, it's just a great little cool little place. Oh, a little a few solar panels on that roof. Looks like uh, that's hot water. That's a that's a solar water that he's got going on there. And 
Roadside America trip number three, combined with a Dunkin' Donuts trip. We'll see. I'd like to try to get on some roads I've never been on before, but you got around here, that's nearly impossible. You know what? I think I'm going to turn the heated gloves off because it's a little hotter than I want. Okay, they're off. I can't see it. I can't see it. Oops. Sagging. <laughs> I knew it was going to sag. Oh, shit. All right, maybe a bad idea. Oh, we'll see. Ah, shit. All right, I may have to try to figure that out now. Ugh. Got to play with the location of this mic. I like the mic a lot. It's much better than the previous mic I was using. This crappy Sony mic. So the microphone that I'm using, I actually got this idea. Well, I shouldn't say it's an, not my idea. I got. I learned about this microphone from Jess at uh, her two wheels. She told me that uh, she, you know, told us all in her video what kind of mic she uses. And I was like, oh, all right, let me try that. So I found it on Amazon of all places. And well, I ordered it and I got it and I like it. It's, I like it a lot actually. So coupled with the GoPro, I hope it sounds better, but I don't know. It sounded better even when I was using the TomTom -tom camera. It sounded better than it did before then. But I don't know how it sounds now. Like a... Ugh. All right. This is going to be interesting because I'm not really sure if I'm going to go the right way or not. I may have to consult the map at some point. I am so glad my visor's not fogging up. Oh my God, you have no idea. I don't know where it is. I can't see it. Every time I turn back, my uh, it, my visor just doesn't work. <laughs> I can't. I can't look. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's sagged way down. Oh crap! <laughs> so that's a bad idea. I might have to. <laughs> might have to adjust that camera view. <laughs> that's so dumb. I bear to the right. Good, man. They're on his Honda. Whatever you ride, ride your thing. Who cares? Yes, there you go. All right, good. Info Age Science Center is one of the locations. It's actually a roadside attraction. I don't know why, but it is. Dog park! Doggies! Cool! Now, are you ready, boys and girls? Camp Evans. Part of Fort Monmouth. Used to be a military installation. Now it's just an attraction. Because they closed the military base. Which is a sad thing. They should never close military bases, but they did. Why? Well, who the hell knows? Budget cuts, you know, obsolescence, whatever the case may be. But that's the age info age attraction. And but the reason, real reason why we're going this way is because I want to show you this. Look at that, it's open. I can go in. I think I will. Oh, Look at that. Oh, I had no idea I could go in here. This is freaking cool.
And there you go. Here in New Jersey, at the Jersey Shore, we have this huge-ass satellite dish. It's actually functioning, too, as far as I understand it. All right, here we go. And then we flip it around. Perfect.